Hello everybody, I wish you a happy and a successful academic year. Our English course of this term is English of Mind. Um, uh, let's start with the first session of Unit 1, Great Idea. But before that, I want you to watch this video first. Exercise 1C. 
Listen to the complete stories and check your answers. What did they invent? In 1903, Mary Anderson and a friend were driving to New York. It was raining heavily and they had to open the windows of their car and put their heads out to see better. Suddenly, Mary had an idea. She invented a moving arm made of metal with a piece of rubber on it. The driver could operate it from inside the car without opening the window. People liked her invention because it helped them to drive safely when it was snowing or raining. Mary Anderson invented the windscreen wiper. In 1869, Thomas Adams was trying to produce rubber out of the juice he got from Mexican sapodilla trees. He wanted to produce toys, rain boots, and bicycle tires. The experiment didn't work. While he was thinking about this, he took a piece of the rubber he was working with and put it in his mouth. He liked the taste of it and decided to add something to the rubber to give it a nice taste. Not long after that, he opened the world's first chewing gum factory. In 1897, British inventor James Henry Atkinson was looking at the family's supply of potatoes, which they kept in a room under their house. He noticed that mice had eaten some of the potatoes, so he invented something that he called Little Nipper to stop them. He sold his mousetrap idea to a big company. They still produce mousetraps called Little Nippers, and they even have a mousetrap museum. In 1886, Josephine Cochran was standing in her kitchen in Illinois, USA. The family lunch was finished. There was a mountain of dishes in front of Mrs. Cochran, and she got quite angry, thinking that she had to do this job every day. If nobody else is going to invent a machine for this, I'll do it myself, she thought. And then suddenly she had an idea. Josephine Cochran invented the first dishwasher. First, only hotels and large restaurants bought her invention. It was not until the 1950s that dishwashers also became popular with families. In the early years of the 18th century, in the middle of the summer, an unknown Dutchman was looking at one of the many canals in Holland. He was thinking, that he often travelled along the frozen canals on ice skates in the winter. He got a little impatient. I don't want to wait for winter, he thought. The unknown inventor made wooden wheels and fixed them to his shoes. He invented the first roller skates. inventors invent okay Josephine Cochran the first one what did he invent excellent he invented what the dishwasher yes unknown Dutchman unknown Dutchman invented ruler skates Mary Anderson invented what yes he invented uh, windscreen wipers James Henry invented mouse trap, and Thomas Adams invented the chewing gum. Now, my dears, I want you to think about these questions. What happened when Thomas put a piece of rubber in his mouth? What happened after that? Brilliant. Yes, he liked the taste and added something to it to make it nice. Number two, what did James Henry Atkinson do with his idea? He sold it to a big company. Number three, who bought Josephine Cochran's invention first? Think about that. 
is excellent. Hotels and large restaurants bought it. Number four, why did the Dutchman get impatient? Why did the Dutchman get impatient? Because the canals weren't frozen and he couldn't travel along them on ice skates. Now we have the, sec the second text in your book, page 15. Please, my dears, open your book, page 15, and read this text 12. The biggest secret about inventing is that anybody can do it. Perhaps this sounds crazy, but it's true. Maybe you have the wrong idea about inventing. So read on to discover the truth. Wrong idea number one. An invention has to be something completely new. Well, inventing means creating something new, but the idea could come from something that already exists. The Wright brothers, for example, got the idea for building a flying machine from watching birds. Wrong idea number two, inventors are born, not made. There are a lot of factors that make innovation possible. Take Mozart, for example, he was born with a unique talent for musical composition, but other factors were, were also important for his creativity. His father was a music teacher, and Mozart practiced for hours every day from the time he was in kindergarten. Thomas Edison said that um, uh, being an inventor was 99% hard work and 1% inspiration. Very successful creator. Don't give up when they get something wrong. As one inventor said, a failure is the right answer to the wrong question. Wrong idea number three. Inventors are always old people. Don't believe that you can't invent something when you are young. Here are two examples of young inventors. Louis Perrin went blind when he was a child. When he was 15, he invented a system of reading and writing for blind people. That is still used in most countries today. As a young man, George Nesson was watching trapeze artists in a circus. He watched how they fell into the safety net and then bounced back up again. This gave him an idea and he invented the trampoline. Okay. Now we have some new vocab that we got from uh, this text. The first word exist. We said that we said that uh, the idea could come from something that already exists. Exist means be. The second word is innovation. Innovation the same meaning of invention. Innovation means the creation of something but in your mind. Okay? The third word is factors. Factors mean anything that contributes casually to a result, that help you to, uh, to get the result. Number four, unique. Uh, the word unique here means alone. Creativity, the ability to create, to imagine something and create it. An inspiration, arousal of the mind to special, unusual creativity. Blind, the people who can't see or unable or to be unable to see. Bounce, move up 
and down. Bounce up and down. Read the text and match the two parts of the sentences. Uh, the first column, many people don't know that. The Wright brothers got the idea for, many inventors have a lot of talent. If you got, uh, if you give up easily when you, the second column, but they also work if, uh, very hard, make a mistake, you won't be successful. Anybody can be an inventor building an uh, airplane from watching birds. I want you to think about the first sentence. Many people don't, uh, we have uh, the answer of this sentence. Many people don't know that anybody can be an inventor. Number two, the Wright brothers got the idea for what? From the text. For, yes, excellent. For building an airplane from watching birds. Number three, many inventors have a lot of talent, but they also work very hard. Number four, if you give up easily when you make a mistake, you want to be successful. Get. Uh, we have this word, or we can use this word to express three meanings. Okay, uh, let's read the examples and uh, get the meaning for each one. The first meaning of get, when we say he got a little impatient, he got a little impatient, got here means he became. So the first meaning of get is became. The first meaning of get is became. This sentence mean means he became a little impatient. Number two, or the second meaning, the Wright brothers got the idea for building a flying machine from watching birds. Here we use got and the meaning of the word received. The Right brother will receive the idea for building a flying machine. Number three, only one of the uh, spacecraft got to the earth. Only one of the spacecraft got to the earth. Here got means arrived. Only one of the spacecraft arrived to the earth. So, as we said, get or got has three meaning, meanings, become, receive, and arrive. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. Use the past symbol or past continuous form. Get wet, get to school, get angry. The math question was very hard, but in the end, I got the answer. The math question was very hard, but the, uh, in the end, I got the answers. What do you think got here means? Excellent. Got here means I received the answers. Okay. Number two, I woke up at 8.30 this morning, so I really late. Think about the answer and don't forget to uh, change it to past simple or past continuous. Brilliant. Got to school really late. Here, go to school really late means arrive to school really late. Alex stopped playing football because it was raining and he was getting wet. My teacher, because I didn't do my homework, my teacher got angry. And here we use got and the meaning of 
become, became, he became angry. Thank you for all of you. Goodbye.